hello everyone welcome to my channel cat tutorials for beginners and in this tutorial we, we are going to create a model of a tensile spring so uh, let us start with the generative shape design so start shape and the generative shape design and oh, click ok so uh, now we will create a helical profile here for the spring so let us so we will just uh, use this uh, wireframe toolbar line so actually we need uh, we don't need this line also we will just directly uh, keep this point and let us add here 40 mm and select this helical curve so select this starting point select the z axis as a axis and uh, then add this pitch value over here and add the let's say 200 is the height for this spring so the spring is gets the profile is gets displayed and just click ok you can change this pitch value and you can play with this uh, options available here so I will just create the hook like structure at these two ends so uh, let us add this profile once again so now here just I will uh, make some geometry here so add this vertical line and just add this provide the angle over here so let us add this as 130 degrees and select this arc and you can draw this up to this arc now let us add the distance between these two points over here let us select this point and this or the center point you can consider here so add this vertical dimension let's say 20 mm sorry let's add 20 mm and similarly we'll create the profile at the bottom end so here again we will create the profile and add in this side similarly add here and make this angle of 130 degree just select this line and this line and make this line as 130 degree similarly select this profile here select this as a center select this point and so sorry we'll just add in the different direction here just delete this add the dif distance between these two that is again 20 mm and select this arc here sorry we'll just add this angle position here and make this as 130 degree and now select this arc just provide the dimensions for this one let's say 40 similarly we'll add the dimension for this arc as 40 and now exit this just make this as a construction line and 
make this as a output feature here and then exit this so now you can simply just select the sketch and join these two curves here S select this point select this point here so it will be a problem here just double click here and make it in the and now just join this select the conic curve select this point and select this point make it a preview so it is already added here so no need to worry about it now just add one more sketch on this plane just select this plane and make this plane projection here and now you can add this curve as well so uh, just select this point and this curve here this curve here then similarly this point and then the curve so actually we'll hide this first just hide this and make this on and then exit this so you can just deactivate or uh, isolate it from the previous edges or the sketch just select this select this curve select this point here and then it is automatically selected so just click ok so in this way this uh, tension spring is created and now we will simply add the advanced sweep option So just go to the sweep command. So go to the add one sweep. You will we will directly create a, a center and radius and select this curve as a center curve. You can join it over here as well, or you can join this curve separately. Just cancel it here. We will modify this. just modify this and then click ok so uh, we will first join this here select the one by one curve select here and then here and then click ok so now it is a continuous curve just select the advanced sweep select the center curve and we will add 5 mm radius and so we'll preview it so at least one twisted area could be filled so there will be some error so maybe it is adding we'll try uh, reducing this yeah so maybe uh, there will be some overlapping of this surfaces because of the increase in radius so we'll try let's say 3 mm and again we'll try 4 mm here yeah, so 3 mm it is possible to get sweep here and we'll keep this as it is so you can play with these options here and we'll add the we'll just close this with the go to the part design and select this load surface and just select this uh, sweep and you can hide this 
so you can see here the tension spring is created we'll add this uh, join as well so in this way you can create a tension spring in katia v5 so thank you very much for watching and please like and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you very much